This video will talk about the basics of polynomials. We need to know a few things about polynomials. Let's see if we can fill in this table and learn a few things. So we want to know the type of polynomial. Well, it depends on how many terms we have. This particular one has four terms, so I'm going to put that in my number of terms over here. And if it's anything greater than three, we just call it a polynomial. So I'm just going to put poly in here. It has four terms, and then we want to talk about like terms. Well, in like terms, we have to have exactly the same variable and exponent on the variable. So I have three terms here that have x's in them, but none of them have the same exponent, so I don't have any like terms in this particular polynomial. Now, the degree of the polynomial. Degree of the polynomial is the largest exponent, or if we have more than one variable, it's the largest sum of the exponents on a term. So this one would be 4, 2, 1, and be 0. I have 4 is my largest degree. Degree of the polynomial is 4. And then the leading coefficient is just the coefficient on the term that had the largest exponent. In our case, we would say that the leading coefficient is 3. And then in this one, I want to just see if it's simplified, but there are no like terms, so it can't be simplified, so it's done. All right, for our second one, now we have three terms. And when you have three terms, that's what we call a trinomial. And that has three terms. And in this case, we do have some like terms because there's an x term here and there's also an x term here. So if I lift those like terms, I have 3x and I also have negative 9x. The degree of my polynomial is going to, again, be the largest exponent, and that happens to be 2. So that's the degree of my polynomial. And then the coefficient on that term is my leading coefficient, and that's a positive 2. And I can simplify this one. 2x squared stays because it has nothing like it, but I can take 3x and subtract 9x, combine these two terms, and I get minus 6x. This one is what we call a monomial. Mono means one, so it's a monomial, and we have one term. There are no like terms since I only have one. And the degree on this polynomial is going to be zero. The leading coefficient is that constant value that we see there, so it's negative nine. And again, there's no simplifying to be done because there were no like terms. We have one more kind of special kind of polynomial and that's this one here. This is called a binomial because we have two terms. So we have monomial, binomial, trinomial and after three we just call them all polynomials. All of them are actually polynomials but we give these three a special name. Alright, so the number of terms gives us two. That's why it's a binomial. And do we have any like terms? No. Nope. Degree of the polynomial? The only one I see is the six so that would be the degree of my polynomial. And again the coefficient on that thing, including the sign in front of it, will be my leading coefficient, so that's negative 2. And since I didn't have any like terms, again, I can't simplify. Now, you may not be able to read this very well, but we have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. So this is just a polynomial. And we had, we said 4 terms. And it's it is ab plus 2a squared b plus 3ab minus 4a squared b squared. So if I look at that very closely, I have an ab term right here, and I have another ab term right here. So I have ab, and I also have 3ab. Now the other two are not like terms because this one has an a squared, but only one factor of b in the term. And this one over here has the a squared, but it has two factors of b with it, so they're not like terms. All right, so the degree of the polynomial, this is where it gets fun. We have to add the, the exponents to know what the degree of each term is. So if we add the a and b, that's just going to be 2. And if I had as a squared and b, that's 2 plus 1 or 3. And this one again is 2 because it was like term. And then we have 2 plus 2. So that makes 4 the degree of our polynomial. And again, just like before, the number in front of it, including the sign, so it's a negative 4. We can simplify this one. So I'm going to write my 2a squared b. 
and then I have combination. They're both positive, so I had 3 plus 1 more would be plus 4ab, and then I'm going to have minus my 4a squared b squared. And then my final one, it's two terms, so it's a binomial. There are no like terms, and now we have to add our exponents again to find our degree. 3 plus 4 is going to be 7, and 4 plus 2 is going to be 6. 7 is going to be the degree of my polynomial. The coefficient in front of that is just a 1, so the leading coefficient would be 1, and I had no like terms, so I can't simplify.